I still can't believe that Playboy Gary Hart's come back so suddenly and so quickly following his term of suspension. And get this, on the same day that the man who suspended him, acting RWL, Chairman Colin O'Toole, is about to deliver his State of the League address, or rather, we're about to watch the Chairman's pre-recorded message here in just a moment. Good evening and a very happy 2020 for to you all. I'm very pleased to announce that our WL has had the best year-to-year -year improvement in a mighty long time. Since this channel went online five years ago, there's over 5,800 videos airing to 560 subscribers all over the world. I want you all to know personally from me that our WL appreciates your support and that we could never have done it without you. Right? So now it's on to matters of business. It's the old tradition of out with the old and in with the new. And I've been mighty busy signing off on both new contracts and pink slips. A lot of our in-ring talent has in fact been let go for a number of reasons. But as always round here, the door is always open for some to return if they want it. A word about our to major weekly program. Snarl has been every Saturday night for a long, long time. And while I did have hopes that Monday Rage would do well as a weekly, I had no clue how fast it would take on a life of it, so that's a lot for me to juggle as chairman, and so I'm appointing a new general manager, one for Snarl and another for Rage. Now for you smarmy little basement dwelling, soap dodging haters out there, let me be clear, this isn't a brand split. Everyone's free to go between shows any time, but if you've got a title that belongs to a show like the Snarl Television title, you'll be expected to defend it there and there alone. So who's to be the new GMs? Well, for Snarl, I've offered the spot to American Supreme Matt Clark, who's looking at semi-retirement and rage. I couldn't give it to nobody but Steve Groves, or better known to y'all as Mr. Hercules. General managers will control in-ring talent on the fly matchmaking and conduct control. That's leading to all your managers who should quit counting your money long enough to hear this. I've never minded you people negotiating your deals off your clients' backs, but what you won't be doing is taking a giant dump on the rule book. These men have my authority to act on their own initiative in these matters, so if I fall as the kids say, now I'd be remiss were I to not offer my congratulations to our Memphis Million Stars who brought down the Mid-South Coliseum Friday night. First off, Danielle Heathcote for becoming our very first women's triple crown champion, Lady Yuan. Patty Powers both have earned your stripes run here. And Crystal, you may not have the international title anymore, but you performed exceptional at our greatest supercard, and I congratulate you both. And congratulations also to both Angie Angel Guns and Warlord Santos on a pair of epic Memphis Million Battle Royal victories. Kindly remember to not spend it all in one place and save those contract briefcases for a rainy day as one never knows when such things might be needful. Y'all made the 10th Memphis Million a high water mark in what we do here. Thank you all for your time and attention. Please enjoy the rest of the show. We'll hear from Mr. Hurt the GM Saturday night. Goodbye.